Welcome. We invite you to join Free Will Missionary Full Gospel Church Services on LICMC.net radio, as well as YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook under London, Washington. Services are Sundays at 1 p.m. on LICMC Radio, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. That's 248 701 Thank you and God bless. Hello, everybody. Everybody, this is Real Missionary Full Gospel Church here. Um, welcome once again and happy Resurrection Day. Welcome you to Free Mission at Full Gospel Church. Oh, let's welcome you. How are you doing, Miss Miss Lil CJ? You ready to do a welcome today? Yes. Okay. I would like to welcome everybody to the Free Will Missionary Full Gospel Gospel Church, non non denominational. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, if somebody does have a scripture for us, please read the scripture, and then we're going to ask for a prayer. Ron, three, six, seven, out one. Go ahead, baby. She said, John three sixteen. Go ahead, Sylvia. For God so loved the world that He gave His own begotten Son. For whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. 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 Everybody bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for giving your son to die for us this day. We thank you for conquering death for us and for opening doors for us that we may be able to represent you and build the kingdom. Let the word that we hear today, according to this service, be bound around our neck and wrote on the tablet of our heart. Let us be not just hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Let us grow according to your will. Let us touch according to your purpose and let us be according to your truth and, and will for our lives in jesus name i pray and all the agreement says amen amen we're going to read the scripture but we're going to dramatize it some of us are definitely are actors so we want to you know when we were growing up some of us and i guess they still do i don't know what's going on right now but it was a it was a main thing for our parents to teach us uh, poems and things for the, for easter so we had to go to church. We had uh, we would have a great big study and rehearsal with all the children. And then we had a grand finale. And we did it all my life when I was growing up. We had we got them said we had we sang and we did our recitations in representation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So today we're mm. going to read the story of from the Bible, the true story from the King James Version about Jesus. Yes, Matthew 27, 1 through 11. Ready? We're ready. Praise God. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. Mm -hmm. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders saying, I have sinned and that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See thou to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. And the Mm -hmm. chief priest took the silver pieces and said, it is not lawful lawful for to put them into the treasury because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Mm -hmm. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by Jeremy, the prophet saying, and they took the 30 pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Israel did value and gave them for the potter's field as the Lord appointed me. And Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him saying, art thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, thou sayest. Amen. CJ, you want to read yes. from uh, starting at 12 down to 19. And after 19, minister 
Ron C is going to go from 20 to 35. Okay. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto them, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? And he answered him to, to never a word, insomuch that the governor mar marveled greatly. Now, now at that feast, the governor was, was wont to release unto the people a prisoner whom they would, whom they would, and they had been a notable prisoner called Bar Barabbas. Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, whom will ye that I release unto you, Barabbas, or Jesus, which is called Christ? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife said unto him, saying, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things to stay in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they would that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Jesus. Minister mm -hmm. Ryan? Okay, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Now, the chief priests and the elders persuade the people to ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor again said to them, which of the two do you want? me to release to you. And they said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? They all said, let him be crucified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all said, let him be crucified. And he said, why? What evil has he done? But they spouted all the more. Let him be crucified. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. Pilate saw that he was gaining nothing, but rather that a riot was becoming, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am, I am, okay, washed his hands before the crowd saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. See mm -hmm. to yourselves and all the people answered his blood be on us and our children Woo. then wow. he released then he released for them Bar barabbas and having scorched jesus delivered him to be crucified then the soldiers of the governor took jesus into the term and they gathered the whole battle line before him and they stripped him and put a scarlet robe upon him and planted a crown of thorn they put it on his head and put a reed in his right hand and mm. kneeled before him they mocked him saying Hail, King of the Jews. And they mm. spit upon him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And then they had mocked him and stripped him of the robe and put his own clothes on him and led him away to crucify him. As they went out, they came upon a man Simon was his name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. And then they came to a place called Galat Gata. Gata, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine to drink, mangled with gall. But when he tasted, he would not drink drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garments among them by casting lots. May God add a blessing to his reading. 
Then they sat down and kept watching over him there. And over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, this is the, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Then two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their wagging their hands and saying, you who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God, come down from the cross. Amen. 50. Or, or maybe also the chief priest mocking him with the scribes and elders said, he saved others himself. He cannot mm. save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross and we will believe him. He trusted yeah. in God. Let him deliver him now if he will save, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. The these also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour, there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth mm. hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, oh. Eli, Eli, lama, sabachthani. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, said, this man calleth for Elias. And straightway, one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let be, let us see whether Elias will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. Mm -hmm. Um, are you on the 28th? Are you waiting for, you waiting for hours? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, then we'll go to 28. And the graves were open and many bodies of the saints which slept arose. And they came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now, when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly saying, truly, this was the son of God. And many women were there beholding afar off which followed Jesus from Galilee ministering unto him, among which was Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Jose and the mother of Zebedee's children. When the evening was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea, Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Christ. And Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and he laid it in his own new toe tomb, which he had hewn out into the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. Now the next day that they followed was the preparation of the chief priest and fear of Pharisees came unto Pilate saying, sir, we remember that deceiver said while he was yet alive, after three days, I will arise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre is made sure until the third day that the disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, he has risen from the dead. So the last error should be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Yay, have a watch. Go your way and make it as sure as you can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting watch. And now we are going to continue on. <laughs> In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. 
And behold, there was a great earthquake for the angel of God descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat up on it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here. For he is not here, for he is risen as he said, Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into the Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I told, have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher and feared the great joy and did run to bring the disciples' word. As this went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, all hell. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then Jesus said unto them, be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee and there shall they see me. Now, when they were going, behold, some of the watch came into the city and shewed unto the chief priests all the things that were done. And when they were assembled with the elders and had taken counsel, they gave a large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I'm with you always, even unto the end of the world. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Now he rose from the he rose he rose from the dead. I forgot to put my gear on, folks. I saw Miss Renee and I said, "Let me, let me put my mm -hmm. biblical gear on, just to represent the dramas that we were doing." Beautiful job, everybody. 
Now we're right, right now. They're gonna mm-hmm. stand there. They're gonna sing. He rose. He rose from the dead. He rose. He rose. He rose from the dead. He rose. He rose, 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 he that I was going to ask, uh, I don't know, Minister, uh, thank you so much, ladies, for singing He Rose from the Dead. Even Minister Willie was singing that with you. Uh, Minister uh, Irene, would she do the invitation to, to Christ? Praise God, everybody. Praise um, God. If you would like Jesus Christ into your life, I want to thank everybody for their scripture readings and just sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and how He was crucified, he died, and he rose again. Praise God. He rose again, and he can help you rise again in your life, in your situation. Whatever's going on in your life, God can get you through it. Jesus can get you through it. All you have to do is believe that Jesus is the son of God and sincerely believe that in your heart and sincerely want to give your life to him. So you can repeat this prayer after me if you would like. Jesus to come into your life. Yeah. Um, say Jesus. 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 I believe you are the Son of God. I believe. I believe you are the Son of God. I thank you for dying for me. I thank, I thank you for dying for me. And rising again for my sins. And rising, and rising again for my sins. Please forgive me for all of my sins. Please forgive, Please forgive me for all of my sins. Please come into my life and be my savior. Please come into my life and be my savior. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. We thank you so much. We thank God for blessing us to be here with you. Bless God bless all of you. Bless all the members of our church. Thank God for you. We want to keep in prayer of uh, our minister, Hope, keep her in prayer, Minister uh, Miss Janice in prayer. But God bless you. We thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, Little Miss CJ in training. Every part that everybody played was so important to make this service to be a blessed, yeah. happy uh, recognition and resurrection of the resurrection of the Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Know that he is alive right now. Amen. And he did all what he did just so that we may be saved so that he will keep us, protect us, and deliver us from sin, and keep us with him, those that accept him, to escape hell. Amen? So we thank God. And just bless your whole life while you're living here on earth. Thank the Lord Jesus, who is alive and well right now. Amen. I want to thank also Mr. Um, Irene and Evangelist Sylvia and Missionary Renee. We're doing a beautiful job. Um, dressed in her beautiful gear, she made mind me that I need to put mine on, and I also wanted to thank Minister Ron for being here. I did a beautiful mm-hmm. job, Minister Ron. Minister Ron seemed like he was getting ready to start preaching in a minute. You still there, Minister Ron? I think that Minister Ron is gone, yeah, and also, man. uh, we have um, uh, Brother Willie popped in, <laughs> he's trying to work, so we appreciate the fact that he even popped in. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to say for a parent will, but anybody has anything they'd like to say before we dismiss? I give it just like to say I will do my best. Amen. Peace, peace and love to everyone. And you did, you did an absolute beautiful job. Thank you for being here with us. This is our minister, Ron. Uh, anything you want to say, uh, Miss Renee, Missionary Renee? Um, for everyone to have a uh, miraculous Easter. Um, this is the month that miracles happen and expect yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, and we also want to uh, see if uh, Minister Irene will have anything to say. Mr. Irene. Everyone, 
Thank you for joining us. We hope that you have a blessed Resurrection Sunday. Jesus is the reason for all seasons, and we love you so much. God bless you. Amen. I'll say this is the Free Will Mission Full Gospel Church, and I would like to make an announcement ahead. And if you forget, you can go on YouTube and take a peek at it and go to London, Washington. You see the announcement. We have a third Sunday concert coming up in May, right here, live, right here. It's going to be several wonderful artists are going to be here singing. And it's going to be an hour of music uh, at one o'clock on the third Sunday of May. But we will keep you in touch with you and hope that you will join us. Uh, so we can listen to the wonderful artists. So have a blessed day as we say bye bye, everyone. Now I don't want I want the members to please stay on the line. Don't hang up. I'm just going to say we're getting we're saying bye bye and farewell to all our social media. God bless you. Don't leave. <laughs> God bless everybody. Remember to tune in at 4.32. We have a, a ministry coming on, but also uh, Pastor Tony Hicks comes on at 11.30. She's going to be doing her ministry live on all the social medias as well. God bless. at 1 p.m. as Free Will Missionary Full Gospel Church, not an initial, a third Sunday service, free virtual concert, live on LICMC.net radio, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Smart and Cable Satellite TV at YouTube, London, Washington. Our singers and guests include Irene Gospel Chill Hop, Reverend Sylvester Hickson, Gospel Recording Artist, Janice Brandy, Gospel Singer, Ernestine McCall, Bishop A. Barnes, Musician and Singer, Sylvia Wright, Performer. London and Helen Foreman, musician.
please join us.